how's everybody doing? Um, decided to do a little screencast. Got a few emails and then messages on Twitter about what we have our quarterback look for when we're doing our zone read RPO that involves our stick play. So I was going to take about four or five minutes and go through three or four plays to kind of talk you guys through the thought process on what you should be looking for. Hopefully I got some plays that work and some plays that don't work so that you're able to see what is supposed to happen. Um, back this up a little bit. Here, guys, as you see, what you're going to see, we're going to run this as a 3-4 defense, three-man front, four guys, see the safety. Can't see the corner. This is our close view. But I um, wanted you to see some of this. Right, uh, our back is uh, going to go in motion. This linebacker takes a step up. So the quarterback should be reading the stick route behind him. Um, he doesn't do this on this play. He actually hands the ball off, and we get a three-yard game, but you'll see here in a second. He continues to go through his motion, as you see the green grass in between them. So that's one play that should have been a, a pass that our quarterback didn't do, but uh, three yards. Successful, but it was a play that his thought process should have been a pass because the sixth man in the box stepped up. All right, here goes another one. As you can see here, we got a 4 two, five type look. They're probably playing some type of combo coverage. He's probably man, and they're either playing cover two with these two guys or they're playing man. It's third and four, so I'm, I'm pretty sure we got man coverage. Um, my personal opinion is we should be throwing the ball deep. One-on-one, -on -one, that's a gift route. This kid for us is always a take because he's not capped. But for us, too, because this young man is a FBS wide receiver right now, that's even more so reason why we should have taken the gift. Quarterback doesn't do that. He's going to have to read the sixth guy in the box. As you can see, the sixth guy in the box comes up, leaving this stick route as the pass she should make. He does, should have had some yards. They can't tackle. This young man takes care of the rest. Go through another one. Let me back it up so I'm on the thought process. Here we got a very similar look. This guy's cap, so your pre snap gif is in there. They're obviously playing some type of cover three of man. You see how deep the safety is. This is the sixth guy in the box. This is number seven. So we should either be looking to throw the bubble, which we have leverage on because he's outside the hard deck, or we could possibly throw the stick on the read if this guy blisses. He initially steps out with the pass. The quarterback hands the ball off. And we're able to get seven yards out the back door. As I said earlier, I wouldn't have been mad if he had decided to throw the bubble screen because that was there as well. Going to go through one more play here. Um, as you can see, this time we have a tight end in the game, so there's no gift. I can already tell you by counting the box right now, there are one, two, three, four, five defenders over our three. One, two, three, four, five, six guys in the box. We have six guys blocking. You know, the corner doesn't really count. So this should be an easy decision for the quarterback. He should hand the ball off. And that's what he does. It's a touchdown. So those are just four examples of how flexible and how easy the zone stick play is. If you're a pistol team, put it in under the pistol. If you're a gun team, this is a simple RPO that you can add that'll add to your offense. Thank you.